In this video, we're going to use Gitras XOR memory script to decode XOR obfuscated strings. To this end, I'm going to use a DACU2 sample in which I've already identified the XOR decode function, as you can see here. Looking at the decompilation of the function, you can see that the string is XOR with this value. So we will now copy this value for your later use. And then we're going to see where this function is called. And just going to use this. And we can see that it is called with this data input. So we go here and this is the string that is XOR with the value that we copied. So we mark this. It goes until about here. And then we go into the script manager. And here in the script manager, we're going to use the filter to search for XOR. And then we have our XOR memory script. We're going to run it. And here we're going to paste our previously copied values. However, because of little endianness, we have to swap the byte order because the values are arranged in this way. I'm just going to copy it like this. And then we hit OK. And we can close the script manager. And now we see that here a string has been formed. And we can convert the data to a Unicode string. And we can see here now that this is the add VAPI32 DLL. We can also then convert this string here. We see software McAfee and etc. We can then go and decode all the other things statically.